Hi, I don't know if you remember, but just here, I had a huge pile of birch planks that I brought from the cottage. And this week on the woodpecker, I'm starting to build a chest of drawers for my shop. I really like my CNC, but not the mess that I have all around it. I have a lot of clamping pieces on an empty barrel. The windowsill doesn't only collect dust, but the worst is that I have no dedicated place for the small laptop that drives my CNC. One morning, I even found it lying on the concrete floor. No, it will never be the same even after gluing it. That's why I've decided to make a chest of drawers to keep all my CNC stuff. And more. This is the perfect project to use the wood I harvested nearly two years ago. Maybe you remember that I picked it up and cut planks with it. It has been drying in the shop since then. It's now time to get it on the shop floor and make something out of it. No, I won't get all of it for now, just enough to start. The first thing to do is to surface all the boards that I've brought onto the shop floor. Done. It's now time to glue several panels from those boards. I figured out that it's the best way to make the most of my wood. Now I just need to wait for the glue to dry. When it is, I sand all the panels to the same thickness. Then all of them are sanded again up to 120 grit. And now I'm finally ready to build the frames. I begin by ripping all the wood to the width of the rails and styles. Okay, I'm confident I have enough for the frames. Mm, but I still have more boards to surface. I still need nine panels. And just like before, when the glue is dry, they still need to be sanded to the right thickness. When all my new panels are sanded up to 120, I can mark where I need to cut the grooves on the rails and styles and cut them. Now that all the grooves are done, I still need to cut the tenons of the rails. The first thing I do is a cut test. Meh. It's not at the right height. I move the rotor and make another cut test. <laughs> this one is perfect. Now I can cut all the ends of the rails. Next, I assemble the frames and measure the exact size I need for the panels. All of them will be cut from those panels. Now that I have nine panels, it's time to cut the raised panels. 
I start with a small cut. When it's done, I move the fence back a bit and cut another pass. When the second cut is done, I move the fence back again, but I make sure to leave a bit of wood to remove later on and make the third pass. Finally, I move the fence in line with the bit bearing and make the final pass. Then I sand all of them. And clean them just before spraying a coat of finish. Yes, I want at least one coat of varnish on the panels. Because if they move because of the humidity, I won't end up with a spot without any finish on it. But now I need to wait for all those panels to dry. When they are, I sand all the raised panels profiles. Now I'm ready to glue the three frames. First thing to do is sand the inside of the panels. Before spreading the glue, I put small rubber barrels inside the grooves and make a dry fit just to make sure I won't have some nasty surprises. Since everything is fine, I spread glue on the end of each rail and on the styles, but only where I'll put a rail. Last thing to do is to clamp this and wait for the glue to dry. <laughs> but I still have two more frames to glue. When the glue of all the frames is dry, it's time to cut the styles at the right length. Then I send all the pencil marks. Now I can mark the location for some dominoes mortises. Uh, I would gladly drill them, but I drop the back panel on the floor. And here's the result. Yes, I swore like a sailor. And it wasn't even funny. But I still need to repair this. The first thing I do is glue the broken parts on front of the frame. Lucky for me, most of the damages are in the back, so I don't need a lot of clamps. But I need to turn it around. For that, René gives me a hand. It's easier to do with four hands. On this side, it's like a puzzle so I need to find where all those pieces go. Now I need to wait for the glue to dry, because with all those clamps, <laughs> I can reach the center of the panel and I need to glue more pieces there also. Now that the glue is dry, I can reinforce the joint with small lengths of dowels. I don't often use the doweling jig I made, but I'm really glad I made it at this moment. On the central rails, I only drill one hole. Finally, it's all repaired, and now I can drill all the mortises. Here they are, all the three frames together. But I'm still missing some pieces of wood to make three small frames to keep the case together. When I have all the pieces, it's time to mark where I want my dominoes to be and drill them. While the glue is drying, I cut a rabbit on the bottom of each frame for the actual bottom of the case. The 
Doing this took so much time that the glue is dry enough so I can remove the excess glue and the pencil marks. Then I can mark the placement of all the mortises I need to drill to join the small frames to the main frames. The top mortises are easy to do. But for the center frame, I need to use a speed square to drill straight holes. I transfer the line on the square and use the center line on the bottom of the domino to align the hole. When it's done, I make a dry fit, just in case. Since it's perfect, it's time to remove all the pencil marks and the excess glue for my repair inside the case. This glue up will be done in three passes. The first one is to glue the two small frames on the back panel. I make sure this will dry square. Now I only need to wait for the glue to dry. <laughs> but I can still glue all the rest of the dominoes inside the mortises of the two side panels. And now I really need to wait. When it's dry, I can glue one side in place and put a lot of clamps. But at this moment, I can foresee the drawer's construction. And I only have this amount of prepared wood. Yes, I glued all those small panels together, but it won't be enough. So I get all the rest of my boards for my loft. And getting all this took so much time that I can remove the clamps. And glue the other side. Good. Now I'm happy. And while the glue dries, I can surface the wood I just got down. I begin by making sure they're straight. After this, the glue is dry enough so I can remove the clamps and measure what I need to remove from the bottom frame. After sanding the front edge, it's time to glue the bottom frame in place and put a bunch of clamps again. And while the glue dries, I can finish the surfacing job. All done. It's time to glue all this in two panels. But when I cut the bottom rabbit, I messed up and cut too much. I need to fix this with this piece of wood. and glue it in place. When the glue is dry, I can finish the job. And speaking of finishing the job, well, if you want to see my chest of drawers all finished with all its drawers, you'll have to come back to the woodpecker.